Hi, my name is Dr. Brian Forster. I'm a science teacher at St. Joseph's University in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. I'm making this video on behalf of the Boys and Girls Club. I'm a bacteriologist, which means that I study bacteria, which are organisms smaller than the human eye can detect. And one of the things scientists, including myself, like to do is try to make the invisible seem visible. How do scientists make small things like bacteria become visible to everyone? And one easy experiment you can do at home to see what bacteria can be found in, say, uh, soil or your uh, garden is by preparing what's known as a Winogradsky column. In order to do that, you need a little piece of uh, newspaper, a pair of scissors, a uh, clear container. Here I'm using a tennis ball container, but you could easily use a uh, clear soda bottle if you'd like. Some soil, either from a local garden or if there happens to be a stream nearby, maybe some soil from that local stream. Some cornstarch and some water, uh, either rainwater or water from a stream or purified water. Uh, not tap water. So to begin, we take our clear container and if there's any labeling, remove it. So I'll use my scissors and remove uh, the, uh, the label. I then take some newspaper and I'm going to cut off a few strips. And I'm going to put it into my uh, container here. The newspaper contains a compound called cellulose, and that's going to be food for the bacteria that are in our soil. I now take my soil sample here. So this is soil collected from my backyard. And we're going to add a little bit of cornstarch. Cornstarch contains carbon, which is also going to be food for the bacteria in our soil. So I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit in. So you can see that I've added some cornstarch. And now with my shovel, I'm going to give that a mix. And now we're going to start filling our container. It's a messy job, but someone's got to do it. And you want to fill this up approximately three quarters of the way. We then take our water, again, not tap water, either rain water or stream water or uh, purified or distilled water, and we're going to just pour in. Pour in a little, that way you can allow uh, the, uh, the water to percolate down. And then top it off. You can then cover your container. So here I'm using the lid from the tennis ball container, but you can easily use saran wrap and simply leave this somewhere where it can get some sunlight. So either outside or if uh, you want, you can leave this in your room next to the window. And what will happen in a few weeks is you'll get a column that looks like this. And if you look, you can see that there are different colors. Notice when we start, it's all brown, you know, very grayish and blackish in color. However, now you begin to see colors. And these different colors correspond to the different bacteria that grow in soil. 
Some bacteria are like plants. Plants use sunlight in order to photosynthesize and make their nutrients, while some bacteria found in soil can do the same thing. And just like plants have a particular color, so do the bacteria as well. So all the colors that you'll see forming, the browns and the greens, all correspond to bacteria. So this column allows you to see bacteria, which is normally um, not visible to the naked eye, and now in a little miniature ecosystem where the different colors correspond to different bacteria.